Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty now, man. Yeah. We, 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 he has arrived. He has arrived. ASAP Ferg, welcome to Ooh. the neighborhood, man. Man, I'm happy to be in the neighborhood. I made it to the neighborhood. No, yeah, it's not about it. you making it. it to the neighborhood, bro. I've been wanting to have you in the neighborhood for a while. Can I keep it what real happened? with you? What happened? Rocky. Okay. And man, mm-hmm. he would be like, bro, you can't have him yeah. here. He would only, the only mob he wanted oh, was, was him. Rocky was hating. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, no. I, you know, I, you know, I call him Filter right? Face because he always, <laughs> nah, no, nah, no, nah, Filter believe. Face was like, man, I don't believe that. Oh, see, and he man. said, I told him, I said, man, I'm gonna tell him. He's yep. like, he ain't gonna believe it because I got his head all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what they yeah. said, Rocky. He said, they ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> he, yeah, so I, well, I tried. Pretty you know what I'm saying? I tried to tell you, but if you don't want to believe that the homie was blackballing you, I don't know what to tell yeah. you, bro. <laughs> no, but for, but for real, welcome to the neighborhood, man. Oh, man, I'm happy to be here. Hey, dude, I, when, when we first slapped hands in the hallway, I was about to do one of them things that I hear all the time myself. What? I was about to tell you, like, man, you sound just like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, Word. which is, yeah. Like know, DMX? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, man, you do sound like DMX. Yeah, you sound like you you talking. Right no, now but, but first song. off, when we say welcome to the neighborhood, man, I love your energy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And you can tell already that we we going to have fun. So we're going to stop the interview right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Always want to leave the public uh, wanting more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. But 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 no. Nah. Get some of that mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's go cook with I day. But no, nah, you you've been putting the work in for real. Putting in work. And when it hey. comes to and I do ask when it comes to people really paying attention to you. Yeah. Does it get better or does it get a little bit more hard now that there's more focus? Uh, what you mean paying attention to me? You know how like e- even just us sitting down together as well. You know what I'm saying? There's uh-huh. a difference between. Climbing and you know the dudes panting now. Everybody know what's going on with you. Is right. that is that a more of a pressure? Man, I still um I'm humble, so it's like I run into people that don't know who I am. Right, it's always um, work. Yeah, like you know I, I'll be sitting first class and I'll meet like an older like white woman. And you should say, what you doing up here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean she's looking at my rings and my jewelry, so she's like wondering like, okay, mm. what is this? Dude, dude, I'm dressed all colorful and shit. Yeah, and she's what team just, you play for? Yeah, huh? exactly. She like. <laughs> What do you do? Like, and we just wind up talking. I mean, especially like coming to LA, it's like seven hours coming from New York. So we got so much, well, six hours. We got so much to talk about. And she's like, I don't know. I, I feel bad for not knowing who you are. I'm like, it's cool because that's why we do shit like this. Yeah, yeah, that's why you continue to work. I can say shit, right? No, not really, but you <laughs> said it twice already. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So really, my fault. can I raise you? What the fuck we gonna do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can, can I raise you on that? Floor seats, the EP, what's cracking? Um, Floor Seats is amazing, man. It's uh, it's been two years since I put a project out. Mm-hmm. Time goes past so fast. When you do that, you don't think like, man, it's gonna be two years. You know what I'm saying? Then you look up and it's yeah. been two years. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, damn, what have I been doing for two years that I like living? Yeah, living. Actually, living. Probably putting this uh, EP together too. Yeah. Touring, putting this EP together, putting music together. Um, two songs in this project is four years old. Mm-hmm. Which, Which ones? ones? Um, <laughs> right? yeah. it's, did you guys hear it already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get Wigs a chance to hear it Wigs is my favorite. Yet. Wigs is your favorite? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which one is yours? I, did, I didn't get a chance to hear All it All right, yet. so the two the two old, older songs is um, Ty Dolla Sign's Ride. We did that in L.A. We caught oh, yeah. the crazy vibe on that. And then um, the Brent Fires joint, the Dreams Fairy Tales. Mm. Oh. You know, it's crazy that you said those two because those two sound old. I was like, why you put these old ass? So old. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like old school joints. I, I, I like, you was like, oh, yeah, we're going, we're going. <laughs> get on down to the basketball. Is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just went up and down the court. I'm like, man, is it like Curtis Blow in there? I was like, I was like, he really on this Kango yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude, Ferg, really on this Kango thing. I don't know if you shooting or you trying. Uh, you trying to give me a compliment, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but but so you say that some of them are. You got two on there that, that's a little bit old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now you say you was gone, but not it's new gone, to the world. Mm-hmm. But not gone. But it took two years for yeah. for for the project. And yeah. at that time, you still you still working, right? You still building, still recording like a madman. And and now that it's here, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Do do you feel like like yeah, this is it? Definitely, yeah. I feel like um, it's a certain amount of like I guess like weight that was on me that's been released because you know dealing, being an artist, you just like you want things to be so perfect mm. and like you don't never anticipate things to happen like like I didn't know people would like certain songs that I wasn't even really 
focused on like or I, I was, I'm focused on every song but it's a different kind of focus like I feel like man we need to go after this one or we need to go after this this one and then when you release it you see what yeah. people think you're looking like, to the right something come from the left like exactly mm-hmm. and that's what happens and it's like damn do we follow that but like what I'm learning to do is just stick to the plan mm-hmm. um, because it's so easy to get sidetracked it's a, it's a lot of great songs we want to monetize off each thing and, and make them bigger and amplify it however we can but it's like I have other things that I'm working on as far as this project and what I want to push to so you know I'm glad that everybody loves it why do you call it an EP with nine as opposed to like album that's what I'm saying I got some other stuff right. <laughs> Do you feel like there is an expectation just being a part of that whole mob that it's like, like we we expect like the pressure of nah y'all you gotta come with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get that pressure anymore. Like I, I feel like um, I've never felt that pressure. Just like you know, being in a group and being in a mob. You know, um, I work good under pressure. Like that, as far yeah. as like you know, delivering and, and coming up with things, I feel more of a pressure to on myself to to be creative. Mm-hmm. And like, and so it's not and, outside; it's internal. It's inside, yeah. And 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 releasing those things because, like, um, like I tell my friends and I, and I, I tell my colleagues and my team, it's like we can't forget how on edge I am mm. and how like that made us who we are as the mob. Mm. Like how like we 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 uh took a voyage through different landscapes and music and sonics, and that's what made us who we are. So we can't just get locked into a sound that everybody loves all the time. Right. We have to still, like, experiment and still, like, be artists. Like, artists be scared to be artists. Artists be scared to be talking about, like, politics or be scared to talk about um, being smart yeah. or mm-hmm. intellectual because, like, they feel like everybody just want to hear about drinking lean and yeah. popping pills or something like Man. that. Everything is turned yeah, up. Yeah, and twerking and all of that. But it's like, yeah, that's cool sometimes, too. But we we have this these other facets that we could dive into too. Like we got other sounds beyond trap. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just not. And you'll hear that in the album. Like you'll hear like you know I'm experimenting. I'm talking about things. That's why I call it floor seats because it's like the floor seats to my life. Mm-hmm. People don't know Get a like to see it up close. Mm-hmm. Exactly up close and personal. People don't know like when you get a floor seats ticket, you're gonna go to the bathroom and bump into like LeBron James or some shit, or you're gonna mm-hmm. fucking bump into like some celebrities you eating like filet mignon yeah. this is <laughs> this is the end this is the insight into my life mm. so i'm giving you a different perspective and a different view why don't you just physically take us to the game <laughs> yeah how about that how about you give us floor well, seats i'm, I'm so pretty sure listen to nine tracks <laughs> you know? i'm pretty sure you get free uh floor seat tickets well, I, I can get free seats but when you said floor seats i That's see y'all going level. to the back and disappearing <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> trust me i'm pissing with the homies all right bet i got you i got you on some floor seats all right now you you went to the finals game as well yeah i performed there man yeah, mm-hmm. so with that toronto that jersey that was amazing yeah, what did that Toronto jersey mean to you? Did you have to perform in it, or did, uh, as you're gifted, do you have to have that? Or no, nah, I wanted to wear it. Okay. Toronto showed me so much love. Like, um, the fans out there is just like on some well, Canada period. Yeah, but like Toronto has been always supportive, and when they called me to come out there and perform, I just like I of course I said yes, yeah. but I'm like, man, they could have got the weekend, they could have got Drake, they could have got yeah, right. you like, like all these Canadians. Like, I'm yeah. like, damn, y'all y'all kind of killing shit right now, like. Right. But I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. the Canadian <laughs> card is hard right now. Yeah. And I'm like, I got the floor seats record out, so of course right. I went into the middle of the the floor and sat on the floor literally as you wow. should on the logo and it was just like you know I'm representing. Game one, did they win that night? I think so. They did win. They oh, won. So you brought good they, energy. They won because I performed. You yeah, they yeah, did. And, and I remember them saying that. They was like, the only reason why. Yeah. I saw him go like this to Drake. Exactly. He was like, yeah. This yeah, now nah, me and Drake definitely had those moments <laughs> where he was like, yeah, you did that. Yeah, he was, he was like, you damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> now give me my plane ticket back. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show up to blow up. Are you into sports? I am For, into sports. W- w- what sports? Well, basketball. But um, I grew up like on BMX bike riding. Really though? Yeah, exactly. Like, like was, jumping and doing everything. I love Dave wow. Mira, Travis Pastrana oh, on nice. a mo- motocross. And but you know that. what's crazy about that? It doesn't seem strange just because how eclectic you guys mm-hmm. 
are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like even when you listen to y'all, I mean, it's, y'all not in boxes. Right. So when not you say that, that you were into being, did you ride as well? Yeah, I wrote. Yeah. So my whole story is like, I used to play for this uh, basketball team called Abyssinian. Mm-hmm. And like, I never was really good at basketball. Like I was, always the, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I was always like the artistic kid. I went to art and design yeah. high school. So it was like my pops was just doing that shit. So I just stayed out the street and like, you know, have something to do. I got beat by a girl. And then like I just rode my bike home. Wait, what do you mean you got beat by a girl? A, like we would do like these drills where we had to do one on one. And she got and you. And the girl whipped my ass. Damn. Shout out to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's um, her claim to fame. That's what we do. Exactly. Yeah, she was like, you know one time I beat him. <laughs> you know what I'm right. And that was before the hot girl summer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so then I rode my bike home, and I noticed that I was having more fun on bikes than I was playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I always rode bikes. We, like, build uh, dirt ramps and just be, like, going crazy with the tricks. So that's why... You know, um, you see me coming out with a bike with red line and see more bikes in my videos because. Can that's... you still get down right now? Oh yeah, you got to look at the floor. That's video. Did you ever hurt, have you ever hurt yourself or broken any bones? Hell yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I I mean I got my leg caught in a chain once. Ouch. Um, I man, felt that like... ain't no man. Did you have a cast? Did you oh surgery? man, you got your corduroys caught in a chain. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that ain't no injury. Yeah, I messed up my feet. Nah, I'm talking about <laughs> shorts. I, I used to ride too. Yeah, yeah, man, and I knew the pounds and ounces of my bike with like for real. And you know, like you try to get the lightest bikes, everything, bro. Like, but getting your pants caught. What? The- nah, my pants didn't get caught. My leg got caught. Okay, well that's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Ferg, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? It was it was a hard journey. You know what I'm saying? So so, but you did ride. Yeah, got- I still ride. I still ride. I have ride outs with uh, my boy D Blocks from Harlem. And um, we gonna actually when I go on tour, I'm taking my bike out with me. So whenever I hit these cities, I'm gonna ride out with the kids. That's dope. That's awesome. Yeah. Like before every show, and that'll be like workout. Mm. It's crazy because everybody thought that it was just cool. You know, you got a lot of fake skateboarders too, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just like, like to dress that way. Yeah, and they hold it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but you, we we not getting a gang of people on bikes. You nah. know, I think you got a lane. Yeah, that's a whole lane. Hey man, so you mentioned that you did go to like uh. Uh, art, art school, school. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was that hand like art, art like you like were there, literally like drawing people and like sketching out landscapes and. Can you get down? Yeah, I could get down. I mean, I design like all of my. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, all of my, jewelry, all my jewelry I wear belts, belts. Hey man, you is know. that really you on the bad boy logo? Did pops draw the logo? I would like to think so because um, my pops did this logo. Yeah, this is actually Puff's chain. He gave it to me. He, oh, he should. It. So yeah. He owe y'all a check, but go yeah. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure my pops got that. Yeah, check. You know, <laughs> early on it probably yeah. wasn't much. But. Right. <laughs> we, but you know what? It's a trip. It, is that the bad boy logo? Whatever pops drew mm-hmm. up, man. I'm the it's baby. It's legendary on this. now. Yo, that's me. That's me with mm-hmm. the Tim's on and the, the hat. baby bad boy. And, yes. and, and you really feel like if pops is at the crib drawing. Drawing, of course he gonna draw what he see. Exactly. And that's his that's son. Fact. Yeah, I'm the muse. <laughs> yeah, you I'm know, the I'm muse the for the bad muse. boy. Yeah, like. so so really pops owe you a check too. No, my pops passed away. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Get, yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Pops owed you a check too. Yeah. <laughs> How early on? I'll get it from my grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it from my grandma. <laughs> How early on did you start to realize, like, no, 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 that is me on the logo? Um, since I first seen it on a t shirt screen, like you know the screens that yeah. you use to print t shirts. I seen the logo on the screen, and I'm like, that got to be me. Did you ever tell, like, your friends at school, and they're like, no, 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 that's not you? Nah, see, that's one thing I wasn't doing. Okay. We just start bringing it my, up in interviews <laughs> like, <laughs> once, once you got older. Like, my my friends, they will actually be like, yo, why don't you be hanging out with, like, Puff Daddy, and, like, why don't you be, like, in the videos, and why don't you, like, say his name more? Like, and, <laughs> like I, just, I just never did it. Mm-hmm. I never felt the need to do it. How long ago did Pops pass? Uh, he, I think it was my 17th, three days before my 17th birthday. Wow. Yeah. And it's crazy because just you speaking on him, the, the artwork, you know what I'm saying? Like the legacy yeah. continues. Did he, did, were you into music back then? Because you always been around it, it feels. So he, he was cool with, like he worked with Teddy Riley, yeah. he worked with Heavy D, he worked with like everybody in the music industry. He was the first black guy to print t-shirts bef- mm-hmm. like besides the Jewish people. And he was doing like the freaky shit, like putting the, the prints on the sleeves, the the glow in the dark, uh, silk screen. He was, uh, he was artsy as well. Yeah, he was. He went to art and design as well. Same high school. That's dope. Yeah. So like, 
That's a legacy. I forgot your question. No, I, I'm just saying, like, even with the legacy, like how it continues, were you around music oh, early yeah. on? So he was getting free CDs and stuff like that from labels and, like, his friends. So, like, I... I would look at the Biggie Ready to Die cover and love it because it was like, who's this brown baby with the afro? <laughs> and I'm like, that's Biggie as I got older. Mm. Like, and I got more into it. So he was definitely playing Mary J. Blige 411 yeah. and Joe to see and um, The Brat. So and you had Tupac. that texture too, though. Yeah, hell yeah. I grew up a battle rapper. Really, though? Yeah. Yep, uh -oh. I used to I'm battle. Glad I it was oh, a sport. You lucky oh. I don't have no instrumental because oh, I was about man. to go on them, boy. That's the same way I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Battle rapping. We used to say shit face. like, we used to say shit like, do I look like I want a party, dog? I got the shoddy fall. Any nigga that clocked me and want to pop me, dog? I hang out with gang bangers like five or four. And they'll take your chest out for them beads like Mardi Gras. Oh, okay. And they rap hard and you'll get your click merc. And they'll get you five X like big shirts. Yeah, the fifth squirt. It'll leave my wrist hurt. I ain't no goody two-shoe nigga. I did dirt. Like we oh, you were way better. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. I'm like, go, big, yeah, go. Yeah. Nah, I ain't coming after that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you you ever heard a phrase called "choose your battles wisely"? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did just now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah you should you should have definitely made me go first because I would have been like viciously in the place to be. I would have did them whack ass <laughs> raps like that. So. Nah, yeah, it was a competitive sport. Like growing up, like it was that was all we did. We like wrote rhymes. We we went to different neighborhoods and we battled people and we was loud so people could hear it. We turned our back on people's. Like we would look at like Ka Kaboom <laughs> in Philly. We would look at Meek Mills when he had the braids mm -hmm. back in Philly. Yeah. Wow. Reed Dollars, um, T-Rex, Murder Mook, all of the guys like shout outs, uh, Charlie Clips, um, everybody, J Mills, Vado. Meek, oh, so Meek, you were in yeah. Yeah, yeah. Meek Hell told the yeah. story one time that he said like he got like someone just trashed him and like he went home and, and he like it, it sat real. with him like and yeah. it made him work harder. Do you ever remember having a moment like that? I never really lost a battle. Okay. Because my crew, we I used to have a crew called H Team, and we used to battle each other to be in a group. To stay in Sharpen a group. Sharpen up each other. Yeah. Exactly. So it'd be like, yo, we'll give you a timeout if you lost a battle. You can't even Throw up the handshake or you can't hang out around us Damn. for like two weeks. Damn, dude have his hand in his pocket. <laughs> you know, like, exactly. hey, no, don't wave at him, man. Yeah, you yeah, lost the battle. Stand over there. You <laughs> lost the battle. Does it make that not easier, but that's a lot of tuition into the school of experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like the outliers, have, 10, hours. You gauge war on yourself before you go into battle. How did you people. and ASAP Rocky, how did y'all meet? Um, me and Flacco met, uh, we was just like the fly dudes running around Harlem. It used to be like boat, boat rides and parties and stuff like that, and I would, I would see him around. And I asked my young sister, I'd be like, yo, who's the dude getting the girls like right now? <laughs> who, who's like, who's that dude that like, you know, because that's how I got to I gotta keep my shit sharp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she told me, she was just like, yo, it's, it's this dude named Rocky. He be hanging out with Naka and this, that, and the third. And, you know, um, I was like, all right, yeah, I know who that is, whatever the case may be. But we linked up because he heard our rap. Mm -hmm. And then... um. He just like, yo, let's let's work on the tape together. So we just started going to um FDA, which is a it's a junior high school in Harlem. And they, they had a studio. Charles Hamilton used to go there to record just different people. And we Were y'all going there as students or y'all went back there to record? We went back there to record. Okay. It's like we did at two o'clock in the morning in a a, a school. But y'all weren't twelve and thirteen. Nah, and, okay, nah, gotcha. Nah. So we went to go record. We started recording music and like one of the joints that we put out in the video was a song called Get High that we did over a Nas Barkley beat. And that was the beginning of the rapping part of ASAP. And, you know, you know it's thing. just crazy, man, with, with with Rocky being, you know, Rakim and your pops being so, you know, historic with the, you know, with Bad Boy and the low. It's crazy, y'all, what cloth y'all were cut from. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. And then what you guys are doing what you guys are doing now. Right. Like like that was it seemed like that was already written. Facts. And and you seem like you're you you studied and you're uh you, you your pupil. You you studied the game. Definitely. You studied. know what I'm saying? I'm still studying. Yeah. I I feel like I don't know enough. Like I feel like I need to listen more. I need to read lyrics. Yeah. And that's literally. why you hear Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why you hear Rocky Izzy. He, he's home home. Yeah, he's home. Hey man, when he's you home. saw when you first saw what went down in Sweden. When I saw it, I was like, man, that dude was the aggressor. Right. And I'm yeah. thinking like, oh, man, this is easy. This is mm -hmm. easy call right mm -hmm. here because right. 
he would have got whipped on much earlier by somebody else, <laughs> right? Including me. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. So did, when you, how did you first get knowledge of what went down in Sweden? He told me because I has I was speaking to him. We was planning for um wireless festival. We was supposed to go do wireless, and um I was about to book my flight. So I was talking to him. He was like, "Yo, we just got into it, whatnot," and like later I hear that he's locked up. Yeah. And I'm like, like I literally like DM'd them back. Because I seen a video, and I'm like, yo, this dude is locked up now. But I'm thinking he like, all right, locked up, get out, an hour. Yeah, easy call. Whatever. After, like, the first two days, I'm like, bro, like, what's going on? Like, they didn't see the video? <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm like, saying? Like, like, what are they watching? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, like, that just was a lesson to me, and I'm pretty sure to the world, like, how, you know, other people really abide by their own rules and regulations to things like we go to sweden it's, it's totally different from the u.s mm-hmm. we go to dubai it's like you smoke weed you die yeah or some shit like yeah you're like yo you just smoking weed this is what i do like in la where it's mm-hmm. normal yeah you know what I'm but I, and i and i'm thinking like okay i tell people wherever you go there's no such thing called ignorance to the law yeah. i didn't know mm-hmm. but i thought they did everything right Hey man, we don't want to fight you. Back up. We're walking away. We're doing it. You already hit my guy with the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so, like, and posted it on his Instagram so, before, like, you know. So mm-hmm. what? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm thinking that's kind of a common law, man. Right. You know, but I, I guess they chose they chose different. Man, it's like walking eggshells because it's like really, what do you do? Like, it was like it was wrong. How scared were you for were, were you for ASAP Rocky? Very scared. I know he's a tough dude. I know he's strong. So the moment I spoke to him, which was very it was a gap before anybody could speak to him. I talked to his, his family, his sister and they wasn't even letting them talk to him. So he was like really you know, locked in with his own um but when I was able to talk to him and heard like he, his voice and his energy I was like, all right, yeah, he's good. Yeah. As long as he's good mentally and good, like, physically and not in harm's way. But, you know, he wasn't home. So now he's home and What about happy. when Trump played like he was trying to get right. him home? Did you, did, were you just like, <laughs> man? Pretty ASAP, ASAP. ASAP. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a rocky, been a rocky week, week yeah. or some shit. I'm some like, man, him. like. <laughs> Who was writing them bars for him? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, definitely wasn't us. You know what I'm saying? Right. But but did you feel like like we already got people on this, bro? You're not even. I really didn't even dive into that. I was just like, man, because there was so much people hitting me up. Like, thanks to, you know, Jay. Thanks to um, Pharrell. Thanks to Swiss. Thanks everybody that was reaching out um, to help and, mm-hmm. and, and really facilitate the situation. Um I ain't have time to like dive into what's happening. Like right. I'm really getting to the nitty gritty. And you really in it too. Getting this guy out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting my brother out. Because this is a real situation. Oh, thanks, Ye. Thanks, Kim. Yeah. Like, thanks, you know, everybody that played a role. What do you think about the Trump supporters that are upset because Rocky hasn't thanked Donald and Trump? And you just thanked everybody but Donald Trump. Out. So Yeah. And you're about to get in their way too. I mean, I don't really know the the full extent yeah. of everything. This <laughs> right. is it's not my you know, my issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I was just trying to get my friend out, like yeah. best way I can. But um Were you nervous I said around? thank everybody who, you know, participated. And I don't know exactly, but I this is this is the what I know. Ferg, were you yeah. nervous around verdict time? Because if we were nervous. No, I, you know was, what I'm I wasn't nervous because they let him out. He was home. Right, right. So and you felt like I just, something. Yeah, exactly. And he did time for a fight. Mm-hmm. He did so like dumb. a month for a fight. For real. So I was like, he's not about to like fly back to see uh Sweden in due time. Like, right. So I knew that wasn't happening. And I kind of knew already from like his manager telling me. But um for the most part. You know what? The, what happened with the verdict? We will take that. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah we will. Were we you able that. to be home when he landed home? Yeah, I flew uh, from Hungary. Damn. Yeah, I was in Hungary Look and at you. Then, like, man, listen. I was in Burbank. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like literally, like I was like jet lag because I was up for two days. Mm-hmm. You know, the time change and everything like that. So we had party. Um, we got we 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 caught up. We woke up. We went to Sunday service. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Kanye shit. Yeah. And then, um. And we I didn't saw mean to say Kanye shit. Like, the, yeah, yeah, no yeah. Church. And they serve it. 
but we saw he uh, closed out our real street fest. Oh my gosh! And man, he, it. he went on oh, stage and killed that, bro. Yeah, he did. The crowd was so ready mm-hmm. for it, and I talked to him. I think the day before yesterday, mm-hmm. and it was just so good just talking to him. Him picking up the phone and yeah. you know filter face. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> did, did he tell you not to interview me today? He did. No, he did. He did. Nah, he was like, man, get him in there. <laughs> this time, oh. yeah, because oh, all time. the other times okay. it was hate. Because oh. okay. he knew. He's happy right nah, now. he was like, he was oh. like, nah, he in a better. Oh, he was like, energy. Yeah, 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 but you know what it is. The one thing that he did say, he was like, man, humbled this, that, and the other. So that probably also a reason why he was like, you know what? Let Ferg in there <laughs> it's true. to Let do shy. that interview with Big. Different he done blocked it so many times. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that the, and you know it too. This is a different ASAP man. Right. This is different Rocky right here. He on Gandhi <laughs> level right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, and then when we the Facetime, I was like, see. "What you doing?" He was just like this. I'm like, Floating. "Motherfucker, you floating?" <laughs> I'm like, "You levitating?" He was just like, "Yeah, man. I don't know what it is." I was like, "Man, I was like, Rock, continue that float. Yeah. I hit you back." ASAP, what, what was that? What was that feeling like to get? on stage with ASAP Rocky again and just seeing because seeing you guys together was honestly really awesome just from from the stage seeing you guys on there like Mm -hmm. how was it like just being with your brother again man it felt good it just like you know I always love going on the stage with Rocky because the the funny thing about Rocky is he loves to do everything last minute Uh (laughs) he's like coming home this yeah, 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 yeah. Like he, he knew he was coming home. <laughs> so when whenever he does a show, it's never like he's like, Yo, I'm gonna do this new song that like I ain't do the second verse mm-hmm. to or y'all wanna like do some shit. Like it's never gonna go like how we scheduled it to go. So like, but I catch up, I catch on everything. Right. That he's like, and then, oh, he always think he's gonna catch me, but it's like he doesn't like, ever ah, catch me. Not at all. I'm like, <laughs> I know your ways already. <laughs> yeah, like, One time I'm like, Yo. I'm already over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You love do. I said you love doing that shit. You love like going up and doing last minute shit and like switching shit up. And he got like mad bells and whistles on stage, explosives, mm. yeah. shit that's supposed to be connected People, to the song. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like telling the DJ, Nah. Cut that one. Go into this one. Like, man, we got to I'm on production. it, though. I'm yeah. on it. I'm on everything. So, like. <laughs> we spent all that money on pyro and right. all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> man, you better <laughs> use all use that. It. You should have saw when y'all was off. We was over there. <laughs> 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 like, man, we paid for all this. <laughs> Just gonna cut out of this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the little dancing uh, ladies that was coming from the ceiling. All that stuff. Yeah, all that shit. We, you, and, and then all when the somebody threw that bro at them, that yeah. was us. Oh, my God. The, yeah. the, the little inside flappy thing. He was like, what is this? Yeah, the little the chicken The chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, man. He was holding that. He was like, yeah, I might as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you're all the same. I love that you have Rico Nasty on this project. What was that called, like, bringing her on? She's so amazing, man. I just, like, I watched her um, Fader documentary, and that's how I found out about, about her. And then Rocky brought her into the studio one time, and I met her. Um, character. I love mm-hmm. artists with character. That's why I fell in love with Missy, Busta, mm-hmm. Ludacris, and Pharrell, and Kanye, because these, these guys project a fantasy, you know what I'm saying, that we all would want to live in or we could live in a world. And Rico Nasty has her own world. Yeah, she does. So it was like, man, I, to do a collaboration with her was dope. And also I wanted to do more more work with females. What other Same. females would you like to work with? Well, um, Wack, Tierra Wack. Mm. Um, uh, who else? Man, I would love to work with uh, Twigs. Ooh. I would love to work with... Uh, who else? I saw Danny Lay was in the studio with you. Yeah, we did something. Wait, crazy. what are you guys working on? <laughs> Man, we did something fucking insane. Hello, was her brother there? Nah, brother okay, was there. Okay, cool. Because every time I FaceTime. see him, he say, "Hey, man, I'm Danny Lay's brother." Where your sister at? But you, you, you did bring up when you were saying like the the Buster Rhymes, the Pharrells mm-hmm. of the world, yeah. and yes, Pharrell yeah. sat down and and I saw where he was listening to the album as well. Yeah. What what is that? Is the, does his opinion kind of matter when you see him moving a certain way? It does, man. Because like these guys, like I listen to Nerd. Mm-hmm. The first album and changed my life. It changed the way. Well, it changed my life. Meaning, like you can be unique and be yourself and still flourish. So that's how I'm looking at it as a kid, and it inspired me to make the type of music I wanted to make, dress the way I wanted to yeah. dress. And then the same thing with Timberland. Timberland helped me curate this this album because, like, I'm as I I think I said it earlier. Like, I'm working on my sonics and. You know, just basically innovating instead of just like making the same song a million times. I want to push the sound. I I, I don't want to just do 
trap music. I want to be able to like, you know, dive into different sonics. And that's what Pharrell and Timbaland did. So, you know, Timbaland helped me. I had a million songs. He like, yo, we got to like, narrow actually, this down. Like, actually, actually? Yeah. Like, wow. Like, um, it's a it's a video where, like, I'm talking about sounds and, like, where I want to push things and being innovative that he posted. We, we both posted a video, the same video. And that was when the day we was, like, basically curating a, the project. That's dope. To move in, like, a, a more, like, not challenging, but, like, a more creative direction. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like we all get stuck on what everybody likes and it becomes microwaved in a bit to where it's like the shit ain't creative no more. So I want to take it back to like when we, why we all using the same sound, the mm-hmm. same packs. Let's do sound design. Let's go and record raindrops and babies yeah, crying man. and shit like that and make beats. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I love that idea. Yeah. Raindrops and babies crying. Imagine. Hey, we I mean, that's what something. that's what Timberland was doing. Yeah. 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 yeah, and put a mic anywhere. Yeah, you put know a mic I, anywhere. I remember, dude, it was this Ice Cube record, and it was one sound where they dropped a 40 ounce. And when you heard that, like that, I always tripped off of those kind of sounds. Yeah. And, and it is true. We do get caught up in yeah. just certain things now. And But I'm starting to see also for- Super mechanical. Is that-, is that People are starting to get a little bit more creative too, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when you think of like the Tylers and the the sounds that you're hearing, the way that people are moving away from from everybody, everybody's not in the club. We can take Same it to the club, right. but we stop hearing lyrics for a little bit. You know but what I'm saying? If, but even if we in the clubs, it still could sound different. Yeah, that's that's what I push to do is like, I'm not the the average club, mm-hmm. you know, goer or a strip club goer or whatever. But when I do go to the club. Or when I hear my songs on the radio, I want to kick culture in the face and be like, this is some shit that you can, like, you hear my ad libs jumping through yeah, the speakers. Yeah, yeah. Some you great ad libs. You hear the reverb. You hear, the, you hear uh, all types of instruments you haven't heard ever. Like, I want to travel. What do you what, what do you get out of going to Japan or when you go to China or when you go, what can you come back with when you go to Africa? Mm-hmm. You, you could come back with chants. You could come back with, you know, music that mm-hmm. they listen to. And incorporate it in your music. That's the best gift we could give to somebody who's never left the hood before. Mm-hmm. That's the way I look at it. Like when I was in the hood, I would like watch interviews and watch uh, Nigo in Japan and all these different things. And I'd be like, man. But then hear some music that's kind of inspired by that or making music with teriyaki boys. And it'd be like, or like, you know, Kanye doing a video mm-hmm. uh, Stronger in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, we can do this. Like, it it it, it takes me on a voyage with the, with the artist. So that's what I want to do for my fans. Do you feel like you did a lot of that with floor seats? Hell yeah. Yeah. Facts. We ain't seen nothing yet. Nah, I ain't seen nothing yet. I thought we saw the best that you can give us, but <laughs> all righty, if you say yeah. so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, listen to this project, um, butt naked with uh, Rico Nasty, amazing. Different type of beat played it for Miki, like yo. Oh, that's the name of the song. Mm-hmm. It's called yeah. Butt Naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's the, I was like, wait, he, he, he thought you was inviting like, him somewhere. <laughs> nah, he was like, wait, hold He's on. He's like, where man. am I going for Butt Naked? Who? <laughs> <laughs> butt Naked. I'm down. Nah. He was like, what the hell? Before I shower, he was, like, he was like, man, now where's yeah. this Rico gonna be at? Is he, you know what I'm <laughs> Listen, right. naked. Do I arrive naked or do we take our clothes off there? This month. Definitely want to thank you for coming to the man. I enjoyed this, man. I like this. I really enjoyed this, man. Make sure you come back though. Oh, yeah. I will. All right. Like, no, t- like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, I'm yeah, doing he's that. Like, uh, I love that laugh. Like, that man, laugh says no. What part of I don't live <laughs> out like, here? Uh, don't you know I gotta go, man? Like, yeah. Like, oh, you're talking to people that's not even <laughs> in what? Okay. How do y'all work with this guy? Let's do this. Uh, we we never get know, a lot girl. of wrinkles now because we laugh so much. I know. Yeah, that wow. ain't from me. That's from your candles on your birthday cake. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? No, but thank you for coming into the neighborhood, man. Appreciate it. I'm doing my birthday playlist coming up. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a live show that I'm doing. Oh, and, sick. Um, I already put you on the announcement. So you won't. Thank you. Yeah, man. You'll be there. Performing right. plain jam. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Right. And it's a chain. it's a playlist where each artist is coming up and they'll just do a couple songs, man. So okay. thank you for donating your your uh your talents. Okay. That's it. Don't, right, there the, it is. The donation? Yeah. Donation. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I got to pray. <laughs> what do you say? Donation. That's so nice. Oh, man. The of your Dude, wow. You thank you, bro. Yeah, man. You know what? Rocky was lying. You are the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you are, man. ASAP Ferg in the neighborhood, man. Big boy Big neighborhood. Boy. I know. Thank you, man.